Hey everybody, how we doing today? My name is Michael. And I'm Dion. And welcome to Misfits Adventures. Hey, we're out here in uh, Morongo, and we are at the Mission Creek Preserve. And uh, it's a kind of a neat place. Uh, I've always passed it by going down from the upper desert down to the lower desert going into Palm Springs. Um, it is kind of by um, Palm Desert. Um, and it is kind of by Morongo, so it's kind of in between. They call it the Mission Valley or Mission Hill something or other. But yeah, so we're at this creek, and it is a hike. It's a one-and-a-half-mile hike. I think there's a three-mile hike yep. to the top of the crest, and then there's another hike. Um, so we're just going to check it out and go on this little hike today. Want to join us? Beautiful rocks. You all right there, Max? Max gets excited. He hasn't been for a walk in a long time like this. He loves hiking. So this is the Mission Creek. Kind of read the history on it because I have no idea what it is. But uh, yeah. These are the animals that are out here, rattlesnakes, mountain lions, black bears. So we definitely have to be uh, careful. Don't run. And then this is the Sand to Snow National Monument. You can see on the map, Desert Hot Springs, where we are now, where we were, we're staying. This is Highway 62, goes up, goes into Yucca Valley, Joshua Tree, 29 Palms, keeps going out and goes all the way to Parker Dam. And south of Gorgonio Mountain, we just got a little snow on it two days ago. Banding in Beaumont, San Jacinto, San Gornio. These are the two mountain ranges. And then this is I-10 going in between them. This is where it's really super windy. Kind of like any wind that's over here just comes in and rips through the two mountains. So they have wind farms right here. So that's Joshua Tree. And this is, I guess, Sand to Snow National Monument. I have never heard of it, but uh, it's the whole mountain range over here. So that's pretty cool. Big Bear is up there. It's a pretty big mountain. Oh, and there's whitewater too. Whitewater's in here. Whitewater comes up. My uh, stepbrother, Ray David, lived in there. It's kind of a, used to be kind of an artist's community in Whitewater, and he was, he still is an artist. And there's a road that takes you all the way up there. Pretty cool. You ready to do some hiking? Yep. Let's go. Let's go. You ready, Max? So there's really no signs in telling you what this is, but there are three, four rock houses. Of course, anything that's wood has probably disappeared, but these rock houses have lasted. But look at this. And this is what they did with them. So it's like a little picnic area. Well, how cool is this? Look out the windows. That's a pretty flower out here. A little cactus went in bloom. That's really pretty.
Got a little pool over here, a little fountain or something. Way over there is a chimney, so they used to have a house over there too. Pretty cool. Which find? Yeah, from the springs. I bet you could come up here and uh, they had natural springs up here. And they still do, I'm sure. Somebody closed it down. I wonder if this is a private area and then they, the government just took it back and made it a preserve. Really neat. Yeah, you can see where the bench was over across. There's a bench over there and maybe a couple benches there. Yeah, so this area is known for its hot spring, so maybe that's what it is. Maybe this was just a retreat to go soak in some nice hot water back in the 60s, 70s. I don't remember this place at all. Kind of new to me. Lots of wildlife. Pretty pretty. Nice old palm tree. Look, another pool. This one had a fountain in the center of it. And actually... Pretty cool. That old chimney over there where the house used to be, probably. Oop, let's get on the path start walking. Look at these. Some more of the same flowers on that same kind of bush. It's really pretty. This is all in the desert, guys. Come on. Where do you see this? Only in the desert. You can see way off in the distance that is uh, Palm Desert. And that's about where we are with our camper working at the KOA. Looks like ooey gooey just mess. Like it just was molten and just all lava together. But it's got a lot of quartz in it. Tons of quartz, see how shiny that is? Look at this offshoot from it. Same thing, same rock. Pretty cool, well a different rock, but. Ready Max, what you find? You gotta get out of them holes, he'll bite you. He'll come up and bite your nose. He said, I think I just had that happen, Dad. Here we go, now we're on the trail. I think we got just a little further to go up here. We're both so out of shape. Haven't hiked since, uh, what, middle of summer? Where those trees are is where we're supposed to be. Getting a little closer.
we uh, looked at the altimeter and we actually are about 2300 feet up this is the view of the wash going down they've been mining for copper or gold or silver well not really the top i think the top is up there where that other tree is This is the uh, two mile walk, I think. There's no signs really telling you which direction or what you're seeing. So it's all a guess. I'm just wondering about this area. Up on top, you can see where the dirt is disturbed by those bushes way at the top. But as you go down, it turns green and it looks like it just kind of fell. So I'm not sure if they have some little mines here and they were, like I was saying before, either doing copper, gold or silver. Because the green, I could be wrong, but that's kind of a copper hue after it's been tarnished, and that's what uh, copper rocks look like when we find them. Hmm. It's a pretty good canyon here. Look at the peak up there. Looks like the leaves are turning up here on this big old oak tree. I'm sure that's what that is. I think the hike keeps on continuing. I think you can get up up there. It goes for another three or four miles. It goes up and around this mountain range. Uh, then you can see the other mountain range better. You ready to go back? Yeah. It was a long walk. Mm -hmm. We're pooped. Or I'm pooped. We're uh, we're gonna head back in just a few seconds. Just kind of check out this little bit, and then we're gonna head down. All right. Sound good to you? Sounds good to me. Sounds good to you, Max. He still wants to go up. He's ready. I don't think we're gonna go up any further. Let's go up to that sign. There's a sign up there. It's the same sign we've seen. Really pretty, huh? Should have had a house way up here. Huh. Underneath these big old trees. Same sign. Same sign. You can see this big old oak tree here. There's another one over there. Pretty, pretty here. And then you got the peak up there with the jet flying. Coming into uh, LAX probably. So we can keep going up this way, or we could turn around and go back down and go off that way. I think that's what we're gonna do because it's about another mile and a half down the hill and that'll give us three miles walk mm -hmm. right so it's been a nice little walk today yes. max is digging it now that we're walking downhill it's going to be easier 
Max says, let's go, I can run. I can run all the way to the car. <laughs> I might be sidetracked by lizards or rabbits. But yeah, we had to get out. We start working in a couple days. Uh, they usually, it usually takes about a week for us to get in the system there, they say. So we got all our paperwork in. Uh, we have to do the sexual harassment like every place you have to do nowadays and then after that we are pretty much uh, gonna start working hopefully next week so uh, we really love our job so far because we're not doing a damn thing <laughs> they've taken us out to eat they've uh, gave us a little Christmas uh, card which was very nice of them and yeah so it's gonna be a great place to work um, I was reading up on the family that owns them and they've been doing this since the 60s and uh, they really know how to do KOAs. I think they're one of the first innovators that, uh, that company, or the company we're working for, and the company that we did work for in Astoria that we hope to go back to, or at least one of their campgrounds. So uh, we're gonna trudge all the way down this mountain. Beautiful, beautiful. Here, listen to this really prettiness, other than Max. Nothing. So quiet. Birdies everywhere. Yeah. This is nature. This is what we like. Nope. That's cat. Hurry up, let's go, run, run, run. <laughs> Don't tell them to run. Yeah, this has been a nice little hike. We needed this bad. Get the blood flowing again before we gotta start working. Yeah, they're mining for something up there, you can tell. I don't know if it's at the top or not. But that's just too, that's been overturned or did something to. <laughs> Keep looking at it. I have to go up there and hike up to it.
Here are those four little cabins they have here with picnic tables inside, marble picnic tables at that. A couple palm trees, an old dead tree here. I don't really think that anybody had lived up here. I think this was a, just a hot springs where people used to come to. Um, that's what I really think happens here. I think up above further years and years and years ago, they actually were mining that. That's pretty cool here. Well worth a hike. And uh, Dion's almost back down to Truckster. So uh, we're going to meet her down there. All right, guys, this is uh, this little sign as you come in. Uh, Painted Hills Wetland is where we ended up. So that was only a mile walk. We're so out of shape and it was going uphill that uh, took us a while. It took us probably about an hour. Uh, then they had the stone house picnic area. And actually that's campy, that's just right here. So it says it's 1.6 miles, that's campy. Uh, Pacific Crest Trail is 3.6 miles. So there is a trail that takes you up further and goes on the Pacific Coast Trail itself, I think. So, this is a system where they can unlock it with one key, and there's eight, no, there's nine people that have the keys. That's pretty cool. So this is a Mission Creek. It is a preserve, wildlife conservatory, as you can read. Backpacking, picnicking, campground, reservations, uh, prohibited, no fires, no shooting, no anything. So you can't take your even your e-bikes up here. So this is where we just hiked. Went up a mile up into the trees up there and then came back. Here. Pretty, huh? Mm -hmm. Got some fallen trees down over there. And uh, we just pulled into the parking lot here. Yeah, we're just in this parking lot right now. Um, what do you think of that? She just came out of the bathroom, which was around over there. And uh, here's some deer. They cut down those trees and now they can reach those little branches on there and eat all those green leaves. How awesome, huh? All right, so this is the Sand to Snow National Monument. And this is the one that uh, we wanted to go on. Over here, now, we started out our journey uh, last week. And uh, we went to the Mission Creek. Yes. So the Mission Creek is actually a part of this over here. It was sand to snow. We showed you the map at the beginning of this video. And uh, this is the U.S. Department of Interior and the U.S. Department of Agriculture, Forest Service, Bureau of Land Management. So uh, as you can see, we had those deer. This is just absolutely gorgeous. Look at the different ecosystems here. You've got pine trees. You've got different shrubs here. All this is all natural. 
the trees are just beginning to change here. Last night we had, uh, or actually two days ago, um, it's been about three days since we've been out doing a video. Uh, this, we had snow yes. up in the mountains. We had maybe uh, half an inch of rain where we were in Desert Hot Springs. And then, uh, yeah, we had we had snow up in the elevation, high ele elevations. You can't see it from here. We'll we'll show you some of the uh, snow. Now I wanted to do a drone at the Mission Creek, but I found out that you can't fly drones there. I can't fly a drone here, and uh, there's no dogs allowed. So you don't hear Max jingling. He's back at the car or in the truck, brother, and he's uh, in his bed. Hopefully, I think he will. Some nice oak trees. It's been a while since I came down in here. Go on the path. This is concrete, it's made to look like bricks, but it's, no, it's actually that uh, composite stuff, yeah. That's nice. I see cars way back in there. This is beautiful. Adjacent to this uh, area here, on the other side we're pointing at, is actually the Morongo Park. So it attaches onto this property too. Pretty pretty, huh? You can see the different trees here. and. Here you can see tracks. Bobcat, coyote, gray fox, raccoon, mule deer, such as what we just saw, uh, deer mouse, ground squirrels, and cottontail rabbits. Now at the KOA, we got bunnies, don't we? And the bunnies uh, are little cottontail, little white bunnies, and they are awesome. Max uh, keeps getting in the bushes and we figured out why. I don't know how far this trail actually goes, but like I said, there's a road here. Um, I think they have a restrooms back in here or something. This is pretty nice. Look at the marsh over here. It just rained the other day, so I got water, a little bit of water in there. The trees palm trees and the regular trees. We got pines here. Yeah. 
No smoking, no dogs. Oh, some work campers down here. Got some more campers back here, keeping the park up. Nice little garden they have there. Tells you all about all the plants. Want to go see? Shows you what all this stuff is. You see this here? What does it say that is? Sweet brush. Yeah. All right, so we're gonna come down here, go into this canyon. This is the Mesquite Trail, I believe. The path is gone, now we're in dirt. Pretty. Look at that up there. Rocks fell down here. Now we're going down. Down, 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 down. Maybe we gotta go back up, up, up. Oh, look at this. How do we get over there? Did it take us over, do you think? That's pretty. Follow the chart up and around this little pond. What made this canyon so green and so much better than the other canyons? Warning, caution, mountain lions and bears have recently been spotted near the trails. Cool. So, uh, we've got mountain lions and bears here. Now we're going back over. We got wood trail again. Look at all the grass in here now. Something's mauled this all down. Something big. You want to sit over here for a minute? Let's go ahead. Hey everybody, how we doing? We are at uh, the Morongo uh, Sand to Snow uh, National Monument is where we're at. I had to think of all those words. Um, yeah, it's, uh, it's a beautiful little park. Uh, we've seen a lot of deer already this morning. Uh, we're just sitting here in this little pavilion thing. It's um, a little deck that's by this pond and uh, in this canyon. And there's trees all the way around us, as you can see. It's 
really pretty here. I'll let you look around. So it's really pretty here. I like that view. So this is a couple days later. We, uh, we actually went on Sunday? Monday. Sunday. Sunday. Yeah, we went for the hike at uh, Mission Creek on Sunday, found out it was called Sand to Snow, and that is a national monument, and it's part of the Park Service and Bureau of Land Management. And uh, that was pretty cool. And uh, we, st I was looking at the map that day, and I decided if we go up to Morongo, I know that there is the park that's up there, and there's another something up there. I forgot what the name of it was. It happened to be Sand to, sea, uh, to Snow. So uh, we came up here that day, um, but we had Max in the car and it was a little bit warmer and uh, no dogs allowed. So we kind of just drove through the parking lot and went back down the hill and went back down to uh, where the camper was at, in Desert Hot Springs. And that's where we're staying. So uh, we're up here now, it's very, very pretty. And uh, I hope someday maybe you all can come out and check this out, right? Mm -hmm. We think this kind of loops around, so we're hoping it does, and it takes us back. I think it keeps on going, I don't think it loops. I think we go all the way into the canyon now. So maybe this is as far as we're gonna go, I'm not sure. Because there has been bears and animals found. Right? Do not, warning, mountain lions and bears have been recently spotted on trails. Do not, under any circumstance, allow small children to wander or run off alone while at the preserve. So we got this trail that goes up this way. And then we got this trail that goes back way back down there into the canyon, the Good Canyon. So this one's a nine mile round trip. And the other one is eight, this is eight miles? No, it's the marker eight for your map. Okay, so it's a nine mile round trip that way. So Mesquite Trail's back over here. So I think we'll go back the same way we came. Cause I don't know where this one goes. Is this part of the other trail? As long as we don't run into any bears or any cougars. <laughs> A couple deers again would be good. What was that? Somebody over there. Sure it wasn't like a meow. Oh, this is nice. Here's where we were sitting before. On that little platform we just went around. All the leaves fell from the trees. water inches up to three feet
These boulders come down, hit you in the head. It's a big ass tree, huh? Aspen tree? I don't know what kind it is. Car? Hmm. Old car. Really old car. Wow. Check it out. Wonder if it came from way up there and it came down here that high pressure glass line call <laughs> okay uh what was this renault i don't know what that was probably a renault renault Look at all these rocks inside of rocks inside of rocks. You got a line of this stone in it. Who walks for? Why not? I think it's pretty. Yep. I got a measuring stick down there to two feet, three feet. Oh, this is pretty. Coming up out of the woods, you get this beautiful meadow.
This is so pretty. You can see the snow-capped mountain up that way. Just patches of snow up there. That way is actually where Pioneer Town is. That's where we took you a couple weeks ago when we got into town. Uh, Pioneer Town, it has nothing to do with the monument, but it is part of uh, uh, San Gornio Mountains. And it is actually, that whole area up there is also the uh, sand and to snow. And that is also part of now a monument. So this whole area that we're looking at now, that's all monument back there. A new monument. I guess they make them monuments first and then they change them over to parks. So, but we're gonna head back to the, uh, the truckster, get Max. We'll be signing off for the day. Hope you guys enjoyed our video, huh? All right, everybody. So you got to see us uh, do some hiking. Uh, let's see on, today is, um, what, Thursday? So Sunday we started off this video and we were at Mission Creek and we did the hike there. And then we found out that it was sand to uh, snow. And we're like, wow, what's that? And then I kind of remembered, hey, in Morongo, and then I saw on the map that Morongo is part of it also and I knew that there was a park over here which is in facing us and back of us up and back of us facing you guys and um, I forgot about this part over here so this is a uh, sand to snow and it is a national monument like I keep saying and uh, it's little hike trails and there's we saw deer we saw a couple families of deer um, but they have signs everywhere saying there's cougar and bear out here we saw a bunny rabbit. That's pretty much some birds. But look at this, isn't this pretty out here? How could you not want to hike out here, huh? So guys, you can always uh, see us every Sunday. We're gonna wrap this up. Uh, check us out at six o'clock in the morning on Sundays and we'll have a new video out for you. And we're gonna wrap this up for today. And uh, you can always write us at uh, msfitzsadventures at gmail.com or you can see us on Facebook or Instagram. And you can also see us on our website. I've got that all now uh, up to date. I was like uh, four weeks behind, but I caught it all up. Uh, we get a nice blog there. You can watch all our videos from there. Uh, and you get on our YouTube channel from there also. So uh, come back and see us, guys. Appreciate you. If you really like the video, please give us a big thumbs up. And also subscribe. We need some more subscribers. So we're shooting to get 1,000 subscribers. And we're shooting to get 4,000 hours watched. So we've got a bunch of hours watched, but we're not quite there yet. So help us out, and uh, we can do this more content for you and take you to places like this. It's absolutely gorgeous. Thanks, guys. Have a good one. Bye. We'll, bye. We'll see you next time.